Hey developer and welcome to another Code World video. In audio recognition, when you would like to identify some song, an application like Shazam quickly turns your clip into an audio fingerprint that generates a special algorithm. In their database, they have the fingerprint of more than 8 million songs generated with the same algorithm. So now it's just a matter of numerical data search and pattern matching on the background. Shazam searches its library for the code it created from your recording. When it finds it, it has found your song. But it's possible for a developer that doesn't work for this company to implement something like this? The answer is yes, and there are a lot of implementation of the algorithm that work pretty well in different programming languages. In this video, we will explain you quickly how to generate your own music recognition service using Python in Ubuntu 18.04. Now, for the implementation of your own Shazam-like application, we will need to install all the dependencies that the project needs to work. As first step, install the Ubuntu specific dependencies that are Python TK, a set of wrappers that implement the TK widgets as Python classes, FMMPEG, the leading multimedia framework able to decode, encode, transcode, and filter and play pretty much any content format and Port Audio 19, a portable audio input-output library designed for cross-platform support of audio. Then, install the Python dependencies through pip. The dependencies are matplotlib, a Python 2D plotting library which produces publication quality figures in a variety of hard copy formats and interactive environments across platforms. Thermicolor, a library for printing colored messages to the terminal. SciPy is an open-source software for mathematics, science, and engineering. PyDub is a package to manipulate audio with a simple and easy high-level interface. And PyAudio provides Python bindings for Port Audio, the cross-platform audio API. After installing the dependencies, we will be able to implement the project on the next step. In this implementation, we will use the open source project Audio Fingerprint Identifying Python, available at GitHub. This project is a Shazam similar app that identifies the song using audio fingerprints, spectrum analysis, and the fast Fourier transform. Clone the repository in some directory with the command shown on the screen and switch to the clone directory. Just in the same clone directory of your project, create a new folder namely mp3 inside the audio fingerprint directory. Inside this directory you will need to store the audio files that you want to have as reference in your database. In our case, we have some music of AHA, Alice Cooper and Blink182, so we just need to move them to the created directory. Now that you have your song database, you need to understand that the most important step of the algorithm is to determine some key points in the song, then it saves those points as a hash and then try to match on them against the SQLite database. We will proceed to generate those hashes and store them in the database with the command shown on the screen. This will take a while, depending on how many songs do you have in the directory. With this information, now you will be able to recognize the audio from the microphone or a file and see if it matches with any of the songs that you have in your database. You can print as well in the terminal the information about the stored songs on the database. Remember that as this project is open source, you will be able to modify it as you want.
Finally, we only need to test if the algorithm works and can recognize the sound from the audio of the microphone. Till the date, it's only possible to recognize the audio from the microphone installed on your computer with this project. To start recognizing, simply run the Python script that is meant to be used with the microphone and provide as argument how many seconds it should recognize from now on, as shown on the screen. In this video, we will not add the real song because of copyright problems, but we had tested it with two songs. We are playing the music from our cell phone using the Spotify application. And that's it, now you have your own Shazam like application on your computer. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.